Here's Carol Meekins and Mike Jacobs. And good evening and welcome to Wisconsin Tonight. I'm Charles Benson. Mike is off tonight. Well, another Carnival cruise ship had problems today. That is less than 48 hours after Carnival docked a separate ship. Now that makes three Carnival ships with problems in the past month. And today, the company was slapped with a huge lawsuit. Chris Pallone reports. Not the smoothest sailing for passengers on two Carnival cruise ships. Passengers of the Carnival Dream returned to Florida by air instead of sea Friday after the ship's backup generators failed. Many arriving in Orlando in good spirits because the vessel's trouble came while docked in the Caribbean port of St. Martin and not out at sea. Where else to be stranded by the tropical island? Yes, please. Well, it was still a good cruise. We got to hang out in St. Martin an extra day. You can get off the ship if you want to. I mean, it's not like we were at sea and stranded. It was just a month ago that another Carnival cruise ship, Triumph, caught fire, lost power, and left passengers and crew stranded for days in the Gulf of Mexico without working toilets and air conditioning. Thursday, 17 Triumph passengers from Texas filed a lawsuit against Carnival. It's at least the fourth suit related to that incident. Carnival says the Dream had problems for a few hours with at least one public restroom and some elevators, but it was a much less dire situation than Triumph. I'm glad that at least Carnival took the precaution to take the safety measure and not risk us having an experience as the previous Carnival, um, the Triumph had. Meanwhile, Carnival's legend cruise ship is slowly making its way to Tampa. A problem with the ship's propulsion system in Honduras forced the company to skip a stop in Grand Cayman and head back to the U.S. a day early. All of this comes just days after Carnival promised a comprehensive investigation of its entire fleet. Carnival is paying to transport passengers home and offering discounts for future travel. Chris Pallone, NBC News, New York. And passengers on the Carnival will get a $100 per person credit. They'll also get 50% off future Carnival cruises. Well, one of the most popular stories tied to the Titanic disaster is the band playing as the ship went down. A British auction house says the violin played by the bandmaster has now been found. Now, here is that violin. Survivors claim the band, led by Wallace Hartley, played even as passengers boarded lifeboats after the ship went down. Hartley was found with the violin strapped to his body. Now, the instrument was given to his fiance and later to the Salvation Army and then a violin teacher. Now it's with the auction house Henry Aldridge and Sons. Interesting. Now, the violin has been tested and it does have deposits that would indicate an item that has been immersed in seawater. It'd be an interesting purchase. Really? Well, the transition at the Vatican continues. Today, Pope Francis met with the Cardinals. Later, the seal was broken on the papal apartment. Pope Francis got his first look at his new home. He is scheduled to meet with the media tomorrow. On Sunday, he's going to bless the thousands expected to gather at St. Peter's Square. Today, CMJ4 will carry live coverage of the installation of Pope Francis. It's next Tuesday at 3.30 in the morning. You can find it on Channel 4.2. Now, here's other stories making headlines in Wisconsin tonight. I'm Jermont Terry in the newsroom. For the first time, we are seeing dash cam video of officers arresting a teen, which prompted an internal investigation. This is video of officers struggling with Jordan Kane. It led the teen to file the complaint with the department. He believed the cops used excessive force. Officers believed Kane swallowed drugs when they tried to confront him at a gas station back in January. But the teen insists he did not have any drugs on him. After a month-long investigation, MPD's internal Affairs unit found the officers did not use excessive force. They say Kane did not cooperate in the investigation, and based on the people MPD interviewed, it concluded the cops' actions followed procedure for an aggressive takedown. I'm Lacey Crisp in Johnson Creek, where the school district wants to build a new school. They've had portable buildings like this for nearly 30 years. The school district is looking to build domes for their new classes, but not all taxpayers are on board with the nearly $22 million price tag or the new design. Taxpayers will have a vote on April 2nd. I'm Todd Hicks in West Allis. Charlie Blackmore tells me he didn't think twice about stopping an attack on this street on Tuesday morning. Now the Marines phone is ringing off the hook with people who want to thank him. Blackmore pulled over and told Kenneth Harris to stop punching a woman repeatedly. He held the man at bay with his gun and called 911. Blackmore has a concealed carry permit. Harris was arrested and charged with battery. That victim has several fractures to the face. Today, Sheriff David Clark called Blackmore and said thank you. Harris says 
preliminary hearing is scheduled for next month. He could face up to three years if he's found guilty. Well, it is St. Patrick's Day weekend and local law enforcement are asking us all to be safe. You know the rules. Don't drink and drive. If you do drink, make plans for a ride home or take the bus. And bus rides are free on St. Patrick's Day in Milwaukee County. And we have breaking news now and it involves the Green Bay Packers. Lance Allen here with 365. Yeah, it is 365 today, Charles. We're bringing you Packers news every single day of the year. And in an off season of change, the Packers have another key defection this time within the division. ESPN reporting that Greg Jennings agrees to terms on a five-year contract with the Vikings. Jennings met with the Vikings last night, had dinner, no details beyond that, but he's next in a long line of Packers crossing the border to wear purple and play for the Vikes. Elsewhere, A.J. Hawk takes a pay cut to stay with the Pack. Terms aren't known, but his salary reduced from $7 million mark. He was scheduled to count against the cap. It's believed to be a significant reduction in pay. Hawk doesn't seem to be too pleased with it. Sticking with inside linebackers, this also might not make Hawk too happy. Robert Francois stays with the team, signing a one-year deal. But the special team standout is promised that he can compete for a starting job. Doesn't seem likely with Desmond Bishop and DJ Smith returning, plus Hawk in the mix. But Francois wants a larger role than just kick and punt return coverage. Once again, Greg Jennings, another one mm. in the long list of guys going over to play in Minnesota. Dreaded kind of, Vikings. Yeah. I know. Okay. <laughs> Could be anybody else. Okay. Yeah, exactly. Breaking Packers news. Thank you very much, yeah. Lance. Coming up, you might be surprised at how many people hide money from their significant other. Plus, the dramatic aftermath of a plane that crashed into several cars. And prom is coming up, so teenagers are thinking about tanning, but there's a move to make it tougher for them to use a tanning bed. Today's TMJ4 News. You ask, we investigate. This should be alarming to all of us. A hidden drug crisis in our suburbs. All over the county, everywhere. Phony 911 calls. They're tying up a dispatcher from somebody who has a true emergency. Where your tax dollars really go. Look how much they're spending for that one courtroom. Wow, that's a lot of money. Do you hear squealing of brakes on a regular basis? Oh yeah, all the time. Today's TMJ4 News, on your side. Is this table new, or don't you ever use it? You have no idea. <laughs> By the yard, maintenance-free furniture, elegance you can rely on. Call today for your free catalog or go online to buytheyard.net. Is your child happy in school? Is the pace too fast or too slow? Does your child need a more flexible or individualized approach? You do have another choice. Online learning from K-12, a full-time alternative to the traditional classroom, available as a tuition-free public school option. Call now for your free information kit to learn more. K-12 powers accredited public schools that parents and teachers enthusiastically endorse. I made a switch to online learning because I saw a blossoming of kids' excitement for education. Our state certified teachers customize lesson plans and guide learning. Kids work at the level and pace just right for them without classroom distractions. And books and supplies are included. The ability to have the online school and still be part of a public school system is priceless. Wisconsin Virtual Academy is accepting open enrollment applications for grades K through 12. Call today or go online to learn more. You'll see with Santa Flow, installing a toilet right here is as easy as this. Install the toilet fixtures, connect your water and power supply, and you have a complete working bathroom. What's more, it works anywhere you need. Even in the basement? <laughs> yes, everywhere you need it. Got something to smile about? A birth? Job promotion? Vacation? Email your photos and caption to I Contribute at TMJ4.com. Presented by Dental Associates. Smile more. Well, a prop plane crashed into a parking lot in Fort Lauderdale. The plane had just taken off when it banked right and crashed into the vehicles. They're in a warehouse parking lot. No one on the ground was hurt, but the three people on board that plane died. For your life now, marital mischief. We found a surprising statistic that 61% of people hide money 
from their spouse. Now that made us wonder why. Well, I guess you probably know why. We brought in Judy <laughs> Brewitt, a counselor and psychotherapist with Cornerstone Counseling. And Judy, thank you for being with us again tonight. We thank appreciate you. this. My pleasure. Now, how important is it that couples discuss money and really not keep these kind of secrets? Very important. Money secrets are one of the biggest predictors of divorce. Oh. And I think couples need to have these conversations even before they marry yeah. and figure out how they're going to do their money, how, you know, if it's going to be a joint account, separate accounts. Mm -hmm. I think everybody, each in the relationship, should have a little bit of play money of their own. Right, as long as everybody knows about it. As long that. as everybody yeah. knows about it and it's equal. Yeah, well, it's here's important. another stat. 15% of people hide a bank account from a significant other. That seems like a trust issue. Very much a yeah. trust issue, and often people will start hiding money if they're thinking of leaving the oh. relationship. Mm -hmm. I think money has a lot of meaning to different people, security, independence, control, kind of yeah. the people can lie to themselves mm -hmm. and justify it. Seems sneaky. It's very <laughs> sneaky. Another bank account. It's ah. just as <laughs> devastating yeah. as finding out that there's been an affair. Oh, yeah, I would think so. When, and, you know, we have another statistic. 34% of the people don't even talk about the debt that they had when they went into the marriage. That's very bad. That's very bad. It's amazing how often in my office it's the first time money's talked oh. about. It's the first time people have come clean, that there's this great shock of, how much? Oh my God, I had no idea. It's very devastating. So what should people do to get ready when they want to have a good relationship? How should they go about handling the money talk? It's a scary talk. It's a hard talk because people have different ideas mm -hmm. about how money should be spent, how much savers seem to uh, meet up with spenders. Mm -hmm. And so there has to be compromise and there has to be a system that both can work both can agree on. And we only have a few seconds left, but do you see it in problems where there's both working spouses or just when one spouse is working? Doesn't matter even when there's both. Yeah. Make sure you're on the t same page and talk. Yes. And talk. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's a hard Judy, talk. Yeah, very difficult. Judy Brewer, counselor and psychotherapist with Cornerstone Counseling. We appreciate you being with us. Thank Great you. To have you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Well, coming up, we have our mugshot of the day. A Racine man has been told to stay out of all libraries on the face of the earth. And it's one of the things many teenagers like to do before prom or before they go on spring break, why some want to limit this practice. And if you miss an interview on Wisconsin Tonight, you can go to our website, todaycmday4.com slash Wisconsin Tonight. You'll find past interviews as well as our mugshot gallery and behind the scenes pictures. Right now at H.H. Gregg, save up to 25% off appliances, furniture, and TVs. Washer-dryer pairs, just $5.99. Not each, $5.99 for the pair. A 60-inch LG HDTV, an incredible $7.99. Samsung Galaxy tablets, only $1.79. And when H.H. Gregg takes up to 25% off, you get 19-inch HDTVs for just $88. H.H. Gregg and hhgregg.com. We help. new Divino Wine and Dine on Milwaukee's East Side. Featuring the original Palermo Villa Pizza. Stop in late and order from our full menu. Available all night long or call anytime for delivery because at Divino, our kitchen's always open. Divino Wine and Dine, Milwaukee. It's inventory time and we have to clear this place out now. So brace yourself for prices that no one can beat. Carpetland USA, West Dallas and Racine. I was in a terrible accident on Capitol Drive, and it wasn't my fault. Cannon and Dunphy helped me get a great settlement, money I can use to pay hospital bills and take care of my family. It won't cost you any more to hire great lawyers. Call Cannon and Dunphy. Now you can smile again. Replacing missing or failing teeth has never been easier with dental implants from Dr. Islami at Dental Implant and Periodontal Solutions. I put my trust in Dr. Azami. I did a lot of research before I chose him, and I knew he was the best. I never had any pain, never felt anything. I mean, it was just a wonderful experience. Hi, I'm Dr. Islami. We can help you reclaim your beautiful and healthy smile. Call Dental Implant and Periodontal Solutions. 
Tonight, it's the phenomenon that makes Entertainment Weekly's must list. Fashion stars back. That is how you do it. Millions have made fashion star the hottest trend in television. If it sucks, I'm not going to be your friend. <laughs> then, on a new grim, they've been hidden. But if their secret gets out, everyone could see them. The world will never be the same. It is way bigger than that. All new grim, following an all new fashion star, starting tonight, 8, 7 central, here on NBC. And welcome back to Wisconsin Tonight. Right now, tanning beds are classified as Class 1 medical devices, the same as tongue depressors and elastic.